At the end of this funeral march, we want to say a few words to the assembled crowd. Words regarding the endangerment of our civil rights through the security policy of the last decade. At the top of our democratic development, we have to face a historical turning point. The digital registration of all citizens through surveillance technology and laws such as INDECT, ACTA, SOPA and PIPA is a danger to our fundamental freedom. The way those laws were imposed is alarming and shows that the control of technology shouldn't be left in the government's hands. History has often taught us that giving the power to the state authorities and the police does not guarantee security. We have witnessed how our freedom was abused and traded for security. We have witnessed our authorities and the police abuse their power and we have witnessed politicians abuse our opinions. But we will no longer accept politics that justify laws by stoking fear and creating enemies instead of breaking up stereotypes. When injustice becomes law, resistance becomes duty. The financial crisis in Europe and the lack of solidarity to Greece, Portugal and Spain revealed the real purpose of the European Union. The fueling of national and racist tendencies show that even Europe is a potential threat to our democratic values. The European border watch Frontex and the intervention at the coast of Somalia serve economic interests rather than global security. A free government shouldn't have to hide behind the police. A free government should provide our security by resigning excessive measures and protecting the innocent instead of preemptively imprisoning them. What about the security in totalitarian countries where the police has more rights? What about Guantanamo where innocent people are tortured in the name of the war against terrorism? What about Great Britain where the public surveillance has become normal to the citizens with public cameras capturing the average citizen 200 times a day? We need to defend our values. We need to defend the freedom generations before us fought for we need to liberate ourselves from our self-imposed immaturity. Every time has its challenges. Every time has its oppressors, but every time has its revolution.
We can no longer just be witnesses to our history. Let us stand together for a world where science enriches the people's lives instead of restricting their freedom. The freedom we are able to relish and which we shouldn't give away that easily. This is worth fighting for.